Alright, what is up guys? It is your boy Will, back with another video today. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about the top two crypto stocks that I think will go crazy, okay? I think they will go crazy because I think uh, the crypto market in general is going to go crazy. So I think these two stocks will benefit the most, okay? The first stock is HUT8 Mining, ticker symbol H-U-T. So I'll go over this one first, and then you have to stay tuned to hear that second one, okay? So make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe. Let's try to get the beat over 50 likes. I'm trying to get the 10K followers by the end of the year. I know you can do guys can do that quick. So you'll see at the bottom left, uh, bottom right-hand corner, it'll be a little watermark. You go ahead and subscribe there if you're not already. I post every day around 5 p.m. Central Time, so you always know when to come back for a video. Now, HUD-8 Mining, ticket symbol H-U-T, okay? Try not to make the video long. So HUD-8 Mining has been having a nice run-up, right? Had a little run-up right here. It came down. The whole crypto market came down around this time. I'm pretty sure if you check the crypto market like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, it probably came down this time too. And it's slowly starting to go up, right? So this right here has me interested in getting in the stock. Now I am in the second stock I'll talk about. I'm already in the second one, but I'm not in this one yet. And I do want to enter. So I have two entry levels that I want to enter. And I don't see any resistance above price right now, okay? So... My bottom level that I want to enter at is around 485. Okay, that's just if it drops hard. I'll load the boat right here. Okay, right here. So this is where I'll be loading the boat. Okay, probably starting Monday to Friday. So all next week, I'll be loading the boat on these stocks. Okay, so I probably won't. So I probably won't be waiting too long. I'll start buying now. So when that crypto market does take off, we we'll already have our position, okay? So around 485, I'll be looking for that uh, second buying level. That's not my first buying level, that's the second one. And the first one is at $5.40. So let me zoom in a little bit, right there. Okay, uh, what's going on? So 540 is where I'll be looking for that next buying pressure. Right there. And if I see buying pressure right here, let me make it a little longer. So if I see buying pressure right there, then I will be looking to buy shares here, okay? If it falls through this one, okay, I'll be looking here. So two lows I'll be looking at, okay? If I see the enough buying pressure here, I'll send that signal out on the buy and sell signals and I'll buy here. But if it's a little weaker, then we will wait and we'll look around this $4.85 level, $4.85 level to buy, okay? But these are two main levels I'm looking to buy right now because I think these are two heaviest uh, support levels as well. So I do want it to pull back some. It had a nice run. I don't think it had any type of pullback. And with any consistent run up, you do want to pull back for that run to be consistent. Okay. So those are the main levels on HUD 8 mining. Ticker simple H-U-T. Now, the second one is Marathon Digital Holdings. Okay. Ticker symbol M-A-R-A. -A. Now, first level you want to watch out for is this resistance level right here at $35.03. Okay. I had this level up here a long time ago and it's finally starting to get up there. So I do expect some sell off right here. Okay, so I expect them some sell off, and then from that sell off, I'll be looking to buy around thirty dollars. Okay, because I already have shares, so I'm letting the shares work already. And then if it comes back down to that thirty level, I'll be loading the boat again. Okay, because like I said, I think it's going to be a big rise coming soon, so I do want to be prepared. So around that thirty dollars, I'm looking for just to come up here to resistance. Now, if the resistance isn't strong enough and it's just a little pullback, I'll probably buy on that pullback too. It just depends on how hard this resistance is, okay? But if it is a hard drop, then I'll be looking around that 30 level to buy more shares. But if it's not so hard, I'll probably be buying around this area, okay? That's why I say make sure you don't buy and sell signals so you can get all the alerts, okay? It is for options and it is for shares also, okay? We do both, okay? So those are the main levels I want to give you guys on both of these crypto stocks. I think they are gonna take off. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and i catch you guys in the next one. Bye.